once I read the script, I realized it's a really fun movie and, and there's so much there's so many cool things in it, things that I had never thought of. It's very original, and I loved that. Um, but I, I also loved the message of the film and, and what it means for people. I think that the story, the, the, the jumping off point, was really kind of routed in Walt Disney himself. Um, when he, whenever he talked about the future and thought about the future, he had this incredibly optimistic um, a view of it. He really felt like we were going to sort out all of our problems and we were going to, technology was going to be our friend. And I think that now we live in this world where we're a little bit, we, we love technology and we're very intrigued by it, but we're also a little scared by it. Um, it can be addictive or, or it can lead to um, uh, uh, negativity. And so we kind of wanted to try to recapture that, that sort of more optimistic, um, sort of shiny utopia that Walt first imagined. Britt was like a big sister to me. She was, she's really, really lovely and I just really got on with her. And George, he's really down to earth and really lovely as well. And I learned so much from both of them. They were just really talented. What's so funny, what I love about him is he's like, because a lot of times with guys, they end up being more prima donnas than the chicks. And he doesn't do his makeup. He does his own hair. He's got like a water bottle. He's constantly messing it up. He doesn't really use his trailer very often. He's constantly sitting with us. Um, he loves entertaining people and having conversations. Um, so he's very, he's a very fun guy to be around. We would have been in a lot of trouble if George had said no, because there aren't a lot of actors out there who could have played this part. And we kept describing him as Clooney-like or Clooney-esque. And then Brad said, I think it's probably time that we <laughs> that we asked George. <laughs> um, and uh, unfortunately, he was willing to kind of hear what we had to say, and he, he really responded to the idea behind the movie. If there was any green screen or anything, it, there wasn't that much. Um, I'd always be comfortable because Brad and, and Tom Peitzman, who was special effects and a producer, um, he would like always make sure that I was comfortable with, you know, exactly what I was doing, and I knew, you know, what everything was, and. Yeah, so I was always comfortable with, with whether it was green screen or not. Yeah. There were times where I'd have to use my imagination and Brad would be like, okay, just imagine that this is there, the pools, you know, you're swimming, there's people swimming through the pools and like that I didn't even understand what he was talking about. Now seeing it, I'm like, cool. Um, but for the most part, it was all practical, it was all tangible, it was there for me to react to. There were very few scenes where, I, where it was pure, purely green screen. I think an audience can expect to see a version of the future that they haven't seen in a while. Uh, I think that they'll see some surprises a lot of the times. And I love, I love sequels and reboots and, um, and, uh, and comic book movies, superhero films. But I think that idea of actually um, uh, sitting in the theater and actually kind of not knowing what, what's going to come next, I think that it, what's exciting about this movie to me is an hour into it, if you were to just stop the film and say, what do you think is going to happen next, that the audience would say, I don't know. Um, uh, hopefully that's, uh, that's a good thing. I hope that they walk out and realize that the future isn't just a place we're going, it's something we're, that we're creating so it's unknown. They can, it can be whatever they want it to be and I hope that they walk out feeling very optimistic. You know, I hope that audiences uh, are entertained by it. I hope that they have a, a fun experience watching the movie. It really is like a like a Disney ride, I keep saying. Um, but I hope that people take into account, I hope they feel something. I hope that it makes them think like, oh, I want to be an optimist, or I want to be more positive, or maybe the future isn't as dark as it as everyone's telling me it will be.